Hi everybody, it is Paris. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my first college slash back to school video of the year. I'm going to be sharing with you guys the clothes that you should and should not bring to college. If you guys have never seen my videos before or you don't know, I'm about to be a junior at the University of Wisconsin. So I've gone through two years of school. I feel like I sort of know like what I wore and didn't wear and like what other people like to wear. But of course, this is just my opinion at one school. Other people wear different things or might have different opinions at my own school. And of course, every single school is different. Different ways that people dress for game days and parties and even just going to class definitely differ from school to school so of course just take my opinion with a grain of salt definitely feel free to comment and add anything that you want if you disagree you think I forgot something in terms of like clothes you should or shouldn't bring so the first category or group of clothes you should definitely 100% bring a bunch of to college is lounge clothes comfy clothes athleisure clothes basically anything like comfy and casual because that is pretty much what I wore every single day in college to class lounging around the dorm just hanging out um, I definitely wore my casual clothes way more than any other other sort of category I guess you know hoodies cute joggers comfy athleisure clothes like Lululemon certainly not everyone dresses like lazy and comfy to class but I definitely do and a lot of people at my big school do also I have like notes on my phone here if I'm reading off of that so sorry if that's annoying some of my favorite brands I recommend for like cute trendy loungewear like joggers hoodies t-shirts whatever um, is the brand chaser you can find this for really cheap on Poshmark but it's also sold at a bunch of different like boutiques and websites um, Z Supply, same thing. You can find it a bunch of different websites, but you can also find it for really cheap on Poshmark. Um, Aviator Nation, Brandy Melville, Sales on Revolve and Shop Up, PJ Salvage, and different like random boutiques and stuff I found on Instagram. We all definitely want to dress comfy to class and lounging around the dorm and stuff. So wearing loungewear that is like cute and trendy definitely like jazzes up your look a little bit. The next thing that you definitely should bring to college is a good pair of comfy everyday shoes, like a sneaker or just comfy slip-ons, basically any shoe that you can wear with a lot. Um, and that you can definitely like wear all day like walking around campus like I said I go to a really big school my campus is really big and sometimes I'll have to walk like 15-20 minutes somewhere and I learned very quickly that wearing uncomfy shoes just does not fly. My favorite pair of everyday white sneakers you guys have probably seen if you watch my college vlogs is my Reebok sneakers I think they're called the Club C vintage maybe I'm not really sure but I'll put it on the screen if that is wrong I love those I think they are so comfortable they're definitely basic like they're not unique um, but I think that they're slightly less basic and common than like an Air Force One or White Converse or something they're definitely not that expensive compared to other sneaker brands for a shoe that I wore almost every single day last year I also love my white Supergas they're definitely not as comfortable I think those are more of like a Converse material just because they're really flat um, but I wore them almost every single day my freshman year just because again they match everything um, and they're also pretty basic and common but they're not as basic as some other shoes the general theme of like packing for college is less is more because you just don't really have a lot of space whether you're in a dorm or a small apartment and you're not going to get a lot of wear out of all of your clothes and I definitely outfit repeat a lot more in college than I ever did like in high school just because every single day you see completely different people on the topic of shoes another thing that you definitely need to bring is a pair of beat up shoes for going out like parties bars etc definitely do not wear your new cute pair of shoes out anywhere because they will get messed up I have an old pair of white Converse I had since like freshman year of high school maybe that I brought with me. I still use them as my general like going out shoes. Sometimes I wear my Supercos because those got really dirty just from everyday wear. Get a really cheap pair of shoes, just something white or black, plain to go with like every type of going out outfit. Also for game days and tailgates because a lot of times you'll be outside in the mud and everything. So definitely need a good pair of ratty, cheap, dirty shoes that you don't care about. Um, don't don't buy a cute new pair of Supergas and then wear them out to a tailgate because they will get trashed. Also on the topic of going out, you definitely should bring some going out clothes. Now this is a super broad, you know, topic and genre and what people wear going out differs again school to school and even at my school what people wear to different occasions varies. Like people wear very different things to frat parties versus bars, even different bars. People dress nicer to certain bars. Even a frat party versus a darty, like people dress super differently. I think the best way to figure out the sort of vibe of different occasions of going out if you are not already familiar is either look at the Instagrams of girls that you know that already go to school there um, or look at sororities Instagrams too at the schools they probably don't post a lot of going out pictures you can just do a little investigative work look at like who's tagged in their pictures stock their Instagram stock their viscos social media is great because you can easily find a lot of girls who go to your school if you don't already know people and just you know do some social media creeping find out what they wear you definitely don't want to be that freshman showing up to a bar or a frat super underdressed or overdressed or just wearing something that no one else is wearing 
Some fun places to shop for going out clothes is LF, Princess Polly, Adika, Nasty Gal, and Shein. I'm really trying to get off of fast fashion, so I'm not trying to like directly promote feeding into fast fashion, but at the same time, um, I know that it's nice to have those options for something that is one, really, really affordable and like on trend and fun. Definitely do some research first of what people even wear at your school and then do some shopping. And the next category of clothes you have to bring, one of the best parts of college is game day clothes. Now, sadly, the year that we're in and the time that we're in with COVID and everything, um, game day is really questionable. Honestly, all of this stuff is questionable. Like who knows if you're really gonna have a lot of social occasions to go out to. Knock on wood, hopefully we will be able to actually attend some games. Like worst case scenario, you can just dress up with your friends in the dorm or your apartment and still take some cute spirited pictures. We're gonna put good vibes in the air and pretend that we will have game days this year. And of course, you're gonna need game day outfits. Again, if you're not sure what people wear for certain game days at your schools, check girls' Instagrams, girls viscos, sorority Instagrams. Um, you can look at like the tagged location on Instagram of the football stadium. I feel like I keep repeating myself, but what people wear for game day at my Big Ten school is very different than what people wear for game days at like Southern schools, which is very different than what people wear at like really small schools where maybe football isn't that big. So do a little investigative research. I get a lot of DMs and questions about where to find like fun, unique game day clothes that aren't just at the bookstore. So I'm gonna share with you. So one of my favorite places is Spirit Season on Instagram, Snipped by Staff, Tailgate by American Eagle has some really nice pieces. They're less like game day, I would say, and more just like nicer um, collegiate pieces but they have cute sweaters t-shirts um, sweatshirts just, it's kind of like the bookstore but like a little more upscale so those are really cute places also um, LF also has really cool vintage college apparel if you go thrifting nearby your college town, you can find a ton of awesome pieces. I have so many Wisconsin pieces that I've got thrifting. And also Recess Apparel on Instagram. They were started by some girls at UW, but I think they're expanding into other schools now. So they sell some really, really cute, um, unique, cool, trendy college pieces that you could definitely wear for game college day. Stuff. The next item that every college girl needs, if you don't already, is a jean jacket. There's a reason that this is like the most basic girl item ever. And there's a reason that guys make fun of girls for like all wearing the same jean jacket when they go out places. And that reason is because they match with everything whether it's a black denim jacket a light wash one a ripped one i have so many denim jackets just because i like wearing them all the time with different vibes but i promise you you will not regret having a jean jacket you will be able to wear it with absolutely everything you could wear it with like a little cuter outfit if you're going out to eat somewhere obviously you can wear it going out you can wear it for game days another jacket every college girl needs that is really basic but there's a reason that's basic is a teddy coat this is definitely for people who are living in a colder climate like uw it's not as harsh as like your big winter coat but it's a little more warmth than like a jean jacket or a little hoodie um i wear my teddy coat almost every single day i again have a few different ones i have like a tan one a black one a long one like a star print one because i just wear it all the time so again it's a super super basic girl college item there is a reason these things are basic and it's because they're cute and they match with everything also a leather jacket this was something that i really just recently started wearing going out this again totally depends on the vibe of where you're going out and what your school is um but i think leather jackets are a really cool way to like dress up a little bit more than a denim jacket or a teddy coat when you're going out somewhere um i think it's more of like a mature cool vibe i don't know that probably sounds stupid like i think if you go to school somewhere where people dress up for game days it would look really adorable with a fun skirt or you could wear it with like ripped jeans and make it more casual for going out and the final thing i have written down for clothes that you should bring to college is like home clothes if you're going somewhere out of state or if you have a school that like your sibling goes to or something like that this is like kind of random and maybe this doesn't make any sense but um it's definitely like a really good way to start conversations with people uw is like my local state school everyone from my high school pretty much goes there i live really close so this didn't apply to me in my freshman year my boyfriend at the time um he goes to a different school so i would wear like merch from his school and if people would you know bring it up people would bring it up and talk to me it was just like an easy conversation starter it's definitely fun to wear clothes from like a college in your state or somewhere else you have a connection to because um like i said people definitely it's definitely um definitely a conversation starter for sure and it's just a fun way to like meet people and connect when you're going somewhere maybe you don't know a lot of people or you're far from home so the next part of this video is i'm going to share clothes that are like questionable either things that you may or may not need things that definitely just depend on either where you're going to school or like your lifestyle you're planning on at school i don't know the first thing i have that's questionable is a swimsuit so my freshman year i never had a swimsuit at school and there was like maybe one time where I wished I had it. We had gone down to like the lake at our school. Girls were just like tanning and going for a dip and stuff. And I was kind of like, oh, I wish I had my bikini or 
um, and then sophomore year I packed a few with me and brought them to my apartment and again I used it like once in the beginning of the year going to my friends um, pool at their apartment for me it was never something that I would personally like recommend or things that I needed but definitely if you are going to school at like Arizona State or Miami or somewhere near the beach obviously girls there wear a ton of bikinis they wear them even to like tailgates and darties and stuff it's just like like I said cultures are just super different at different schools if you're going somewhere warm or maybe you're living somewhere with a pool or hot tub or whatever definitely bring a swimsuit probably not a necessity for most people but. the other thing that's questionable is winter clothes now if you are going to Wisconsin or you're going to another Big Ten school 100% you need good winter gear that's something I get a lot of questions about from people is people who are like I want to go to UW but I'm like scared of the cold and yeah it's pretty cold so you definitely need like good winter boots um, like bean boots hunter boots etc a good parka good hat and mittens just as if you are going somewhere where it gets really cold early in the year like UW you don't need to pack a lot of summer clothes shorts tank tops bikinis etc now this may seem obvious but I packed like so many cute summery clothes with me when I first came to college because again I was moving in in August so I was like there'll be at least another month of warm weather I packed so many shorts and tank tops and little sandals and stuff and I just never wore them because it got cold really fast or even when it wasn't cold I would just wear like you know my comfy shorts my little lemon shorts to class maybe to everyone it's more obvious to not pack a bunch of unseasonable clothes but to me it was not and then the final category of clothes I have that is questionable is like formal um, dressing up cuter clothes depending on the job that you have on campus you have to dress up for it wear more business casual um, if you're planning on joining like a business fraternity or even just like doing interviews going to job fairs and stuff looking for a job then you'll definitely need like some business casual nicer outfits um, normally I would say if you're doing a rush then you need a bunch of like cute formal outfits for that but I think most places are doing virtual recruitment this year so I'm not really sure that's gonna work I thought the whole point of giving bids was seeing what people look like but apparently not either way you definitely don't need like you know a bunch of stuff as you would if it was like in-person rush so again just sort of think about what you're planning on doing and decide if you'll need more formal clothes or not for me personally I like never wore business casual clothes last year or like formal dressing up clothes because I'm not in a sorority my job dress code is like kind of more on the casual side so the final part of this video is clothes that you should not bring to college the first thing I wrote down that you should not bring is kind of what I was just talking about is a ton of like cute dressed up formal nice clothes even if you are joining a sorority and you do have events or a real rush or something or you're working a nicer job you just will not wear everything that you're bringing that's kind of a theme with this whole video is like pack less than you think because you know you just won't wear all of it another thing that you should not bring is nicer shoes again I brought a bunch of sandals and fancy shoes and stuff last year and just never ever wore them if you're planning on being in Greek life or working a job where you have to dress up then definitely bring like one or two good pairs of shoes you don't need to bring every single pair of cute sandals or heels that you have and the last thing that I think you should not bring is excessive like sweatshirts and t-shirts and comfy stuff like that because first of all you will buy a ton I remember like at the book store and different like shops on campus I bought like so many comfy t-shirts and sweatshirts I also work in the athletics department so I bought a bunch of like athletic style clothes to wear for work and stuff so you're definitely gonna buy a lot once you get on campus especially if you're joining Greek life you get like a million free t-shirts it seems like and sweatshirts and merch and stuff also even if you're not in a sorority you just get a million free like t-shirts and stuff on campus um, I just have so many random free t-shirts I got from like events freshman year from basketball games football games etc definitely don't bring like every single casual t-shirt every pajama t-shirt or every hoodie that you own from home because you are going to get so many even though like I said in the beginning of this video loungewear was like all I wore I still had a bunch of sweatshirts and t-shirts and joggers that I just never wore because I got so many so that is pretty much everything that I have in this video of clothes that you should and should not bring to college again definitely comment down below if you disagreed with anything I said or you think that I left out something what I think and what I wear and what I experience definitely isn't what everyone does on each school so every school is different every person's different if you're coming to college and you are wondering what to wear or what not to wear hopefully this gave you some ideas um I also kind of want to make a TikTok of like 10 items every girl should bring to college or like college outfit ideas and stuff so let me know if you guys want to see more like fashion content um it's really hard just because of this particular year and this particular semester game days are questionable going out is questionable even just like casual outfits for going to class are questionable because a lot of people have online classes but i think i'm still going to make these videos anyway because i want to share it with you guys make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already follow me on instagram all that stuff definitely feel free to reach out if you have any other questions and i will see you guys in my next video bye